Charles Darwin Short Biography of Charles Darwin Charles Darwin was born on February 12, 1809 with the full name Charles Robert Darwin, and was born from an affluent family. Darwin's father, R. W. Darwin, was a doctor and his grandfather, Darwin, whose name was Erasmus Darwin was an expert in the field of botany. At the age of 16, he continued his studies at the University of Edinburgh with his younger brother. In just two years, he has continued his studies to a higher level. Darwin became a student at Christ's College in Cambridge. Darwin took up a theological study. Darwin graduated from Christ's College in 1831 and he graduated as a Bachelor of Arts. Darwin had a history of heart disease and had a seizure in March 1882. One month after that incident, Charles Robert Darwin breathed his last. On April 19, 1882, Charles Robert Darwin was buried at Westminster Abbey. On April 26, 1882 close to a scientist, John Herschel and Isaac Newton. Charles Darwin's Theory of Natural Selection Charles Darwin made this theory public in the 19th century. The theory created by Darwin uses the basis or reference of the theory created by Lyell under the title Principles of Geology. It was not only Lyell who was Darwin's inspiration. Theory created by Thomas Malthus with his writing entitled An Essay on The Principle of Population is also Darwin's theory of inspiration. Basically, Darwin already knows that every living thing wants to have offspring can only be through a marriage relationship or can be said to be a merger between sperm and egg cells. However, from that thought, in Darwin, the question arises whether from a diversity egg cells and sperm cells can give rise to a new species and waiting for the changes that occur in living things, does the earth still have Old enough. After the two questions arose, Darwin began to look for the answers and he found an inspired answer from a geologist named Charles Lyell. Charles Lyell said that the age of the Earth is much longer when compared with humans. Charles Lyell was born in 1797 and died in 1875. Based on the words of Charles Lyell, Darwin became interested in making and developed a theory that is now known as the theory of natural selection. You can see Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection in mockingbirds that have been observed and studied by Darwin. In the mockingbird species, the new species in the mockingbird can be seen in the bird's beak. The beak of the mockingbird will be different according to the bird species and adapted to the place of residence or habitat of the mockingbird. A species emerges in nature through competition for life. Life competition protects individuals who have favorable variations in life and of his descendants. Charles Darwin called the principle of natural selection. If it is the process of variation that can make an organism win in CO a species appears in a living competition. Life competition protects individuals who have favorable variations in life and will enjoy their offspring. Charles Darwin called the principle of natural selection. If the process of variation that can make organisms win in the competition of life continues, the variation will gradually become apparent and evolve so that it differs from the species seen. Life competition continues, the variation will slowly become clear and evolve so that it is different from the species I have. Charles Darwin's Theory of Human Evolution still on the same voyage on the HMS Beagle when traveling around the world. It turns out that Darwin not only discovered the theory of natural selection, but he also discovered the theory human evolution. He recorded all the journey of the formation of the theory in his book entitled The Origin of Species in 1859. Darwin in making this theory of human evolution combined three theories at once, first, species second, adaptation, and third, evolution. He got this thought while doing a trip or voyage around the world aboard the HMS Beagle. When sailing in this case, Darwin was still very young, at 20 years old. 
therefore there is no doubt about his love for research on living things. In the theory of human evolution, Darwin said that the development of these living things had experience or go through a very long process, so that many events occur past in order to defend the life of the human itself. He also added that the development or evolution of living things comes from a process of division of single-celled living things and became like humans that we often see today. Living things that undergo development must be able to adapt to their environment or to survive. Such a thing can be said to be the way of living beings to adapt to its environment or can be said to survive. Living things that are not able to adapt to nature, then humans can experience death or even extinction. However, Darwin said that with the death of the living beings who cannot adapt, it will produce a change. The appearance of the change is based on on natural selection. The living creatures that die will leave a trail of inhuman fossils. From these fossils, Darwin began to make observations or research on human evolution. He conducted research on human evolution based on his curiosity about human origins can live in this world. However, it's a pity it turns out and in that research, Darwin did not find the answer to the question of the origin of man. With no human origins that Darwin had done, he was only discovered until to a conclusion that every living thing including humans will only come from single-celled creatures that then develop themselves and experience development or growth. Thus, Darwin said that during a voyage around the world by ship he did not find out how that human could appear in this world. Then after four years the book The Origin of Species was discovered, there was an expert who named Thomas H. Huxley used the results of research that had been done by Darwin to do research on human development or evolution. Huxley wrote a note on the results of research into a book entitled Man's Place in Nature. From the results of that research, Huxley began to find a little something related to humans are living things that have characteristics that are almost the same as humans. The living creature in question is a chimpanzee. According to Huxley the similarity lies in the anatomical structure of chimpanzees with humans and the development process chimpanzees with humans. From the research that has been done by Charles Darwin and Thomas H. Huxley, it can be said that humans are direct descendants of the ape or chimpanzee species. Charles Darwin first studied medicine but ultimately decided to study the challenging naturalist field. The Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection is Charles Darwin's book which argues that the ancestors were apes which sparked controversy throughout the period. Evidence of the Truth of Charles Darwin's Theory Charles Darwin's theory is getting stronger because in that theory there is evidence that can support Charles Darwin's theory. The following are evidences of the truth of Darwin's theory. 1. Fossil as we know that every living thing, especially humans and animals when it is die or perish, it will leave behind fossils. These fossils are the bones of creatures' dead life. Darwin while on his voyage, began to discover various kinds of fossils that have been around for hundreds of years. Fossils discovered by Darwin already in a state preserved in stone. Darwin began to conduct research on the fossils found with the scientists geologists, people who are experts in the field of rocks, and paleontologists, scientist who is an expert in the field of fossils. From that research found human fossils that are about 55 million years, namely Hyracotherium. With these fossils, it can be said that in the past Charles Darwin there were many living things that lived in that environment. Two. Evolution and Isolation The proof based on this evolution and isolation can be seen in the presence of animals that experience it, but not in exactly the same way. Example there are lions living in Africa, tigers living in Asia, and so on. Lions and tigers belong to the same species, namely big cats. However the physical condition of the two animals is not the same. Lions have feathers on their heads while the tiger on the head there is no thick hair. Conclusion 
Charles Darwin has done research on the origin of humans but he has not managed to find the origin of the human. However all the results of his research or observations recorded in the book The Origin of Species in 1859 was given by someone named Thomas H. Huxley. Similar to Darwin, Huxley also recorded the results of his research in a book called entitled Man's Place in Nature.